go, go. Let's do this. Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Gaming with Sal, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanna go ahead and talk about Modern Warfare and its microtransaction systems. Now here's the thing, we don't know anything about the microtransactions that are going to be coming to Modern Warfare. However, we do know that they will be coming because let's be honest, Activision is really hammering down on these developing studios to put in some sort of system that can make the money post launch and something like microtransactions aren't just gonna go away from something like Call of Duty, let alone video games altogether nowadays. So we know they're coming. But if we don't know exactly what is going to be coming to Modern Warfare in terms of MTX, then what is this video going to really be about? Well, here's the thing. When it comes down to the developers at Infinity Ward, they at least went ahead and acknowledged that they will be sharing how the microtransactions will be working in Modern Warfare very soon. They're just not ready to share that information just yet. And then Charlie Intel, a couple of days ago, went ahead and made a statement on Twitter saying that developers from Infinity Ward did confirm that DLC weapons will be coming to the game. No surprise there but they just aren't ready to share how exactly they will be coming. Now, when it comes down to their plans with microtransactions, I'm not really sure if they already have that set in stone or if there's still like any chance to change things up, like maybe introduce a supply drop system or a tier system. And, you know, they can go ahead and make the necessary changes right now based off of player feedback from games like Black Ops 4, or if it's too late, once again, not really sure. But just in case there is a chance to change things up, this is where this video comes in. I wanna go ahead and talk about basically past supply drop systems, micro transaction systems, etc, etc, and talk about which system could be the best for Modern Warfare. And just to put this out there, if it was up to me, and if I was part of the developing studio and had a lot of say in it, I would not have microtransactions or any sort of supply drop system. I would actually like to go back to the days where whenever they add new content to the game, you can unlock it through challenges, sort of like how Infinite Warfare did with their DLC weapons, which actually made them one of the more consumer friendly games these past few years. But then again, maybe it's because it already had enough of a bad reception for majority of fans and that's why they went ahead and did that but that's a whole different story the point is that i want to go ahead and basically reiterate that i would personally not have any sort of supply drop systems or any sort of mtx in my games if it were up to me but since we know they are coming we got to stay realistic and just keep that in mind so when it comes down to a system for microtransactions which system do i think is the best do i think the tier system is the best or do i think a supply drop system from games like modern warfare remastered or world war ii are the more superior systems well when we take a look at games like Black Ops 4, right? The tier system has a lot of potential. I mean, take a look at how the tier system was when the game first came out. We had weapons in the tiers. We had cool camouflages, mastercraft variants. All of that was in the tiers, while there were some cosmetic items in the reserves. Believe it or not, I didn't even know reserves were really a thing in Black Ops 4 until they started having a more prominent role later on in Operation Grand Heist and afterwards. But that's the thing, right? When they went ahead and decided that reserves were going to be playing a more important role, that is when the tier system started becoming coming useless because if we take a look at the tier system now we see nothing but stickers calling cars all that kind of stuff maybe gestures and we might get a cool looking reactive camo here and there but nothing like how it was back when black ops 4 first came out the only complaints that people pretty much had about the tier system in the very beginning of the game's life cycle was that it was way too long and that 200 tiers was way more tiers that were necessary for an event that was going to last as long as i don't know maybe about 30 days or so right so they went ahead and fixed all that up but the problem is they moved all of their really cool looking items for every single update into this reserve system which basically makes this game like black ops 3 2.0 all over again in terms of supply drops so yeah when it comes down to the tier system if they went ahead and changed it to where all of their cool items had to be thrown into a reserve system that just pretty much showed that the tier system wasn't making them enough money on top of that activision came out and confirmed that black ops 4 made 800 million dollars in the last quarter alone based off of post-launch content which means supply drops or reserves in this case. So basically, the supply drop system made them way more money than the tier system. So if I were to guess, maybe the tier system won't come back in a way that we all expected to if it even does make its way back into Modern Warfare. That's just my personal opinion though. Now, when it comes down to games like Modern Warfare Remastered and World War II, this is what I'm talking about. This system that they had with the collection system and all of that kind of stuff was probably the best microtransaction system I've seen in a Call of Duty game up until now. Now, if you guys aren't aware or kind 
kind of forgot what the collection system was like. Well, basically think of it this way, right? Suppose we're playing Modern Warfare and the Scar H isn't part of the actual game and it's coming later on as a DLC weapon. Okay, once again, just an example, not confirmed. So let's say that Scar H comes and we have the collection system for Modern Warfare Remastered make its way back into Modern Warfare 2019. So the Scar H is going to have its own collection list. And in the list, you're going to have things like stickers, calling cards, emblems, maybe camels for weapons or even outfits for certain characters. And they're all going to be ranked from common to epic. And basically your goal is to unlock each of these individual items within the collection list. And once you get everything within this list, you basically get to unlock the Scar H. And what this does is that it allows you to go ahead and work towards the one specific item that you want that came with the entire update for that game at that specific time. Now, how do we unlock these different items in the collection list? Well, there are in-game currencies such as parts in Modern Warfare Remastered and Armory credits in World War II. Now, how do you earn these parts and Armory credits in these type of games? Well, in Modern Warfare Remastered, every time you went ahead and finished a match, you would get certain currencies that allowed you to unlock supply drops. And whenever you open up supply drops and get duplicates, well, those duplicates will give you parts depending on, once again, what rarity they are. Are they common? Are they epic? The more rare they are, the more armory credits or parts you will end up getting from those duplicates. Now, another way that you can earn these armory credits or parts in a game such as World War II is daily login bonuses. So every day you log in, you would get a certain amount of armory credits and every single consecutive day afterwards, you would get like a multiplier. So I don't remember exactly how the multiplier worked. Maybe it was like, oh, you logged in for two days in a row, so we'll give you double the armory credits or something like that. I'm not really sure, but that was one way to earn armory credits. Another way that World War II did that was excellent and took it like even a step further than what Modern Warfare Remastered did was introduce contracts, orders, and you know daily challenges as well as weekly challenges. And these challenges would allow you to unlock more supply drops or get more armory credits. Now, if Modern Warfare 2019 decides to do this, trust me, you guys, I will be one of the happiest people in the Call of Duty community because you know if you have a way to earn these in-game currencies and be able to work towards the specific item that you want, you can basically get all of the new contents for free without having to pay a dime. And on top of that, you get to grind for challenges. You get to grind for supply drops, not in a way where it kills you on the inside because here in Black Ops 4, I have to like grind for so many cases to be able to open those duplicate protected crates. And at the end, I get nothing because those calling cards, those emblems, those stickers mean absolutely nothing in Black Ops 4. However, if we had a collection system, sort of like MWR and World War II, well, then those items actually have some value because they can help you get the main item that you're working towards. And then this helps out Activision as well, because think about it this way. It's actually more worth it to buy supply drops if we have a system such as this. If we buy, suppose, like 20 supply drops, which, by the way, I still don't recommend buying supply drops even with a system like this. But what I'm basically trying to say is that in a system like this, it's more worth it than in a system versus like Black Ops 4s. But anyways, suppose you buy like 20 supply drops, right? And all 20 give you duplicates. Well, guess what? Those duplicates will give you armory credits or parts or whatever currency that Modern Warfare 2019 decides to call it if they bring a system like this. And you can use those in-game currencies to then unlock the collection list for the main item you want. So in a way, Activision will still be making a lot of money off of supply drops because people will start to see that it's way more worth it to buy those in this game versus a game like Black Ops 4, where whenever you get those duplicate items or those common items like stickers and calling cards, that they don't mean anything afterwards. They don't have a value. On top of that, with the collection system, you get to see exactly how many items are in the game that have been added that you still don't have. Right now in Black Ops 4, I can't even keep in track of how many Mark II variants there are for weapons and which weapons actually have them, or how many Mastercraft variants are there, or how many reactive camels there are. We have no idea how to check for these type of things in game. Like, has nobody ever noticed that? In World War II and Modern Warfare Remastered, I think even in Infinite Warfare, you can check which items you still don't have that have been added post-launch, but in Black Ops 4, you can't do that, and the collection system is one more thing that can allow you to have such a feature in your game. Not to mention, one more thing that I've actually noticed after talking about the collection system for quite a while now is that it helps out a lot with events. I mean, look at World War II. Each event was organized based off of when they came to the game and what items came also with that event. So you can clearly see that, oh, this calling card, this emblem, this specific sticker or camo came with this event in October or that specific weapon came with like the Shamrock and Awe event back in March. So it helps out a lot. And if Modern Warfare 2019 wants to become even more consumer friendly than what World War II did, well, they can go ahead and have separate supply drops like how Modern Warfare Remastered did. For example, Operation Arctic Wolf had its own separate supply drop versus another operation that came in that same game, which means not every single item that was added to Modern Warfare 
remastered post-launch is in the same pool of items. It's in its own separate pools based off of what event and operation it came with. So at the end of the day, you guys, I really believe that if microtransactions wants to come to Modern Warfare, which it will, and they want to go ahead and add DLC weapons post-launch, they should follow the footsteps of games such as Modern Warfare Remastered and World War II, especially World War II, believe it or not, because at least they took it a step further with their orders, their contracts, and their daily and weekly challenges and stuff like that, right? They were one of the most consumer-friendly games I have seen in the past few years in terms of Call of Duty and their microtransactions, which is really surprising because Sledgehammer Games is the one who really introduced supply drops into the Call of Duty franchise, which is very interesting in my opinion. But even if they don't bring the collection system back, they should do something that's at least the same level of consumer friendliness as games like Modern Warfare Remastered and World War II. Now, this is where I want to go ahead and turn it over to you guys. Would you guys like to see the collection system return for Modern Warfare 2019? Or do you personally have an idea of how to actually handle microtransaction systems for a game such as Modern Warfare 2019 if it were up to you? Remember to keep in mind that, of course, we would all wish that they would never be there to begin with, but since they are, we got to keep that in mind when thinking about topics like this. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys in today's video. So if you guys enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, click the bell icon so I learn recent upload, and follow me on my social media accounts to stay connected. Links will all be in the description below, and I will go ahead and talk to you guys in the next one. So take care of yourselves, and bye.